today should be a fun day so let's get dressed <laughs> everyone Sharon here age vest restyling thank you so very much for joining me for another let's get dressed as I said in my intro today should be a fun day my sissy and I were going to do one of the things that we love to do the most we're going to go antique vintage shopping and we're going to go to a little town in Georgia Dahlonega we love Dahlonega it's a cute little town and they have some great antique and vintage store there not to mention they have a great restaurant that's really serves really good down home wholesome food so we're looking forward to that to that um so i'm getting dressed for that i'm going to take you guys along with me so let's go ahead and get dressed now it's chilly here in atlanta and delaniga is north so there may be a little bit chillier there <laughs> so what i mean what i decide to wear may not seem practical but i'm going to layer it up so i'm going to start off with tights and what i should have done which I didn't do, is pull my tights out. But I'm just gonna be wearing some black tights, so that should be easy. Okay, <laughs> that should be easy, let's see. Yeah, these are black. Oh, do they have a pattern in them? They do have a pattern in them. No, I don't want these, because I want tights without pattern in them. I just want, or do I? No, 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 I don't. <laughs> no, that'd be a little bit too much for the dress. So let me see if I can quickly find some plain black tights. Yeah, I think I found one. Yep. Okay. So found my plain black tights. Let me go ahead and put my tights on and then I'll be right back. All right. So the tights is on. <laughs> As you can see so obviously I'm getting dressed from the bottom up today so let's add the boots I'm going to be wearing boots today for additional warmth because I am going to be wearing a dress now these boots are nine West boots and I purchased these boots last year to take with me on my Paris trip they didn't make the cut last year <laughs> So, and it's not generally the style of boots that I will buy because of the heel. Y'all know, know I love a high heel. But I thought these would, be great, would have been great for walking around, giving me a little bit of lift without not a lot of heel in Paris. But I ended up not taking them. And I have them sitting around here not wearing them. So I'm like, you know what? We're going vintage shopping. We're going to be doing some walking around. This will be cute with the dress that I'm wearing. So let's put them on. Maybe you'll make it to Paris with me on my next trip because I am going back to Paris next year. I'm actually going to be doing Paris and Amsterdam next year. So maybe this, maybe you'll make it with me then. extra large but the reason why I got an extra large is because how I want it to fit you know I I always tell you guys I never really look at sizes it can be too small but for me not necessarily well I guess it can be too big but not overly big I usually would go up to maybe a 2x 1x 2x lot you know around that round I won't go too small but I'll always go too big because I sometimes I want a certain fit and in order to get that fit, I have to go up a size or two. So let me put the dress on and I'll be right back. Okay, the dress is on. <laughs> what do you think of the dress with the boots? 
You see why the tights was necessary? Because it is chilly, so I needed an additional layer of warmth. It's an extra large, but it doesn't look bad. <laughs> I would actually wear this like this because I like, sometimes I just want it flowy and free, you know? <laughs> but I'm not. I'm going to cinch in the waist with this belt. And this belt yeah, is large too. And the reason why I got the belt so big is because I wanted to be able to do this. Normally I would have used my hole punch and punch a hole in, but I didn't because I just liked how it looked when I did it like this. I like this look. I kind of, it looks like I tied up the belt. Well, in fact, yeah, I tied up the belt. Now the question is, do I want it to the side? Because you know I like a little side, or do I want it in the front? So side or front? Hmm. Do I want front or side? See, it's these little details that trips me up sometimes. <laughs> It's all in the details for me. Those fine details. I think I will go to the side for right now. I may change my mind. I know you guys hear all that noise, that, all this noise. I am wearing today my um, charm bracelet, my vintage charm bracelet I've had forever. I don't wear it a lot because it, it makes a lot of noise. But I'm going shopping. I'm going to be out outdoors, so all this noise is fine. I don't like wearing it when I'm going into the office because, like I said, it's noise and it can be very irritating in an office. And then I have on my other gold bracelet, bangles, um, diamond bracelet, and all my other gold stuff with my rings. Y'all know I love my gold. <laughs> and my earring for today is just some big gold hoops. I just decided to... I think the dress works with the big gold hoop. So that's my um my jewelry for today. All about my gold. All right. Now a bag. I have two options for my bag. I brought in my Roberta Cavalli. You guys have seen this before. My lip Roberta Cavalli and my um little Valentina Tino. So is it going to be the brown Cavalli or the black Valentino. Which one? What do you think? What would you go with? The fact that either one will work. But I like the I like the, I like the black. It's just small. Um, what am I taking with me today? Am I gonna need a lot of room? But you know what the back, the black offers is a crossbody, but this one also does. I could use this as a shoulder crossbody. I just took the long strap off. I never use it as that. I always just carried on my hand on my hand. So I have that option and the Roberto on the Cavalli if I choose to. So that's no reason. So should I go with the black? seems to work. <laughs> it's just smaller than I would like. You know what? I'm going to go with the black because um, we don't really have a sunny day today. So I'm not going to be really wearing shades. So I won't need the room for my sunglasses. And yeah, I'm gonna go with the black. So let's take this out. <laughs> if I can't pack what I want in the black, then I may take the, the tan one. All right, so let's pack the bag. So guess what, you guys? I did it again. I forgot to empty out my bag that I carried yesterday. Let me do that. I'll be right back. 
Yeah, yesterday I carried my Chanel tote and I didn't empty it out when I came home. So let's do that. Throw everything out. <laughs> All right, so that's all the stuff I need out of there. Now let us pack the bag. There's something, I, okay, my tripod was in here. Okay, let's put the tripod at the bottom. What is this? Oh, it's the stuff that came with the bag. <laughs> my wallet um you know what i don't need this let's just take this that stuff i put in there the more room i have and my wallet um uh, oh let's put my lipstick my lipstick today is um the revlon barely there this color ah really creamy and smooth and nice and obviously my chestnut lip liner okay that's that and I am going to take I think my sister just arrived my compact my Tom Ford compact with me and that is it you know what let me take my um lip gloss because sometimes I just like just a little gloss. Because that's all that's going to be in the bag. Now for perfume. Let's see. You know what? Let me go with my oil. Let, I'm going to switch up my oil. I've been wearing the Altoba oil. Let me switch up to, to this one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Alu Akuku. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this one I, I don't know what it's saying but let me, i haven't worn this one in a while oh yeah oh smells good so this is the oil that i'm going to be wearing today i showed you guys the name oh it smells so good so good oh, love it okay now for the last thing is should i wear a, my cap or not I brought two caps in both of them came from Amazon and I'm trying to decide if I should wear them well at first I thought this light one would work but I think no if I'm gonna wear a cap it has to be black and this one came from Amazon well they both did so let's see I like this look I like this okay I think a cap it is look all right y'all that's the look for today we're going to Delanaga. we're going to hit up some vintage stores so come along with me so let's go all right i gotta get my jacket okay so i'm gonna wear a leather jacket so my black leather jacket are housed in this closet downstairs i'm thinking a bomber let's see What do you think of this bomber, sissy? No. You don't like this one? Mm-mm. Okay. What is it you don't like? Just don't feel it? Okay. Mm -mm. All right. Sissy not feeling this one. All right. So back to the drawing board. This bomber jacket is a cold hand jacket that I, I think I found this at a vintage store. <laughs> All of my leather jacket is thrifted. Now this one is a Jones of New York double-breasted jacket. And they're so heavy. Okay. Sissy, what do you think of this one? I like it. This one is a yes? Yes. All right, everyone. Sissy say yes to this one. So this is what we're going with. All right, so 
now let's close this up. All right. So this is the look. We're heading out. So let's go. Come on, sissy. Well, we have arrived to the Laniga. It's like a Christmas wonderland out here. <laughs> Everyone is out shopping and enjoying the little town. So this is the old Lumpkin County Courthouse from 1836. And this place is on the National Historic Register. All right, we have to go to one of our favorite restaurants when we come here to eat because I am hungry and I didn't have breakfast this morning. So I'm looking forward to sitting down and having lunch. Oh my goodness, can we even get in? There's a line. This is a, it's a very popular restaurant here. It's the Bourbon Street Grill. Very, very popular. See how busy it is? Let's see how long the wait is. I hope it's not too long because I am hungry and I've been looking forward to eating here. So it's a long wait at my favorite restaurant in Delanaga. It's about an hour and 15 minutes, but we're gonna wait because I really love the food here. And whenever we've come here and we've gone somewhere else, we've always been disappointed. But if you're ever in Delanaga, Bourbon Street Grill is a place to go. It's busy down here today, that's, today. That's, that's a tough spot to be in. Yeah. So let's see what they're saying about the public square here. So this plaque says, 1833, the public square. When surveyors laid out the original village, this place was designated the public square. The center of the square was reserved for the construction of a courthouse completed in 1836. The public square embodies the rights guaranteed to the people in the Constitution of the United States, including freedom of speech and peaceably assembly. Independence Day and the 4th of July are celebrated here each year throughout the year. There are gala e celebrations and more somber observances, including Memorial Day in May, Veterans Day in November, the Gold Rush Days Festival each October recalls the Georgia Gold Rush of 1829 with a bittersweet echo of the forced removal of the Cherokees in 1838 along the Trail of Tears. Wow. He said, by folk tradition, bridal couples circle the square three times to guarantee good luck in marriage. Wow, okay. Um, some funeral processions circle the square in final farewell to the community. The public square has continued to serve its original purpose as a place where people assemble to exercise their constitutional rights. It is a legacy of to the present generation from all the people who have come before. How interesting. I guess this is why I just love coming to this little town. Fred Jones Building. What does, ooh, interesting stuff in Frederick Drones. All right, I'm trying to determine if I want us to wait here or walk around until they call us because when they do call us, I want us to be close enough 
that we can get here quickly and don't lose our table. Let me figure out what we're gonna do. All right. We've decided we're just gonna walk around for a little bit and wait till our names get called. They have some really interesting stores here. This is really a little Christmas town. So we're inside this. All the sweets and look at that. It's a fudge store. I'm not getting anything. My sister wanted to come in here. I'm just videotaping the sweets. Not getting any sweets. Just admiring the sweets. <laughs> Sissy, what are you getting? I don't get anything from here. I've never, I've never bought anything in here. I, I, I never got anything from. I never buy sweets in here. I, I haven't. Maybe you did, but I have not. Because you know I have a sweet tooth, so I try and stay away from it because of that. They don't have that, Kristen. Look at all this. Wow. This is a sugar rush waiting to happen. Not right now. Ice cream. Child, when we sitting in the car. Ice cream. You scream. Everybody wants ice cream. Delonga gold coins minted in Delonga from 19, 1838 to 1861. Wait a minute. You could probably split up here. You know what would be nice, Sissy? I would love to get one of these gold coins and add them to my, um, how about adding a, a gold coin to my charm bracelet? Wow. Look, it was originally $50. Look at that. Is that the original? That cannot be the current price. Mommy, look at the penny. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. Let's go see. Let's go inside and see. Yeah, we've came before. I remember I was coming in here before. Oh, let's see what they have. Well, they're having a sale, 20% off. I'm interested in gold coins though, and I think that's what everybody's interested in. Okay. 
the gold coin section is full. So these are all Delonica gold. Because the, the, Delonica used to be a gold mine town way back in the 1800s. Yeah, um, the gold coins. Yes. That's not Anne Ride, whoever. I was thinking about getting a, a gold coin to add to my um, charm bracelet. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's, Let's go check out these gold coins. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have a particular size that you'd want to stick around? No, maybe around. Um, the size of the, th what is that? Yeah, yeah. So you could do something that's more of a modern mint uh -huh. or an actual historical coin. Um, if you like something that has a little more so of an antique look to it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm an antique, so an antique works. <laughs> Let me just kind of pull out a few here in a range. Okay. That's just my only concern. Notice the strings are really thin. Like, mm -hmm. if you have your own chains, these are kind of like three chains. What's the price range? Chains, I would suggest. So, this bigger one is about 1500 and the teenier, tinier one is about four or ten. Okay. Okay. Because it, it's gold. They're gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, those, those, that's what the original price was. <laughs> way back yeah, when <laughs> I, know, I, I mean look at that the original price way back when was ten dollars can you believe that wow gold is a good investment <laughs> investment okay let me test these out I'll be right. you guys i am so tempted by these christian dior clip-on earrings she's asking a hundred and twenty dollars for for them. They're Christian Dior clip-on. Yeah, three fifty or one seventy-five. Wow. Wow. And wow. my sister just did the research yeah. on Google. They they go for one seventy-five to three hundred and twenty, and she's asking one hundred and twenty for them here. What do y'all think? Oh, I am so tempted. <laughs> So we are at another vintage booth here, vintage jewelry booth. What did you guys think of those vintage Chris, um, um, Dior earrings that I showed you? Did you think I got them or not? I'm really curious to see what everyone says below. I see something in here I want to look at. Those signed silver clip-on earrings. It says $15. And I think it has the blue, but I don't know what. You see that blue? You see it? I like that. Oh, you guys. This is a necklace that my sister have been hankering over. No, nope, it's still here. So what does that tell you? <laughs> It's overpriced. Yeah, we should. We, well, we, should we should check it. We should check it and see. And she does not negotiate prices. It is what it is. She will not negotiate. This was last year. You know how long it's been here. You know that, right? I know it's been here for a moment. Very long time. And normally when something is good it doesn't because she her stuff moves quickly <laughs> look at my beautiful niece can you guys believe that that absolutely stunning beautiful young lady does not believe or think she's beautiful Chrissy Look at her. Can y'all just tell her she's beautiful? Because she doesn't think she is. Are you beautiful? Yes. Okay. <laughs>
This tea is so good, just what I needed. It's ginger and lemon, and it was just what the doctor ordered. My sister says she's cold, but she's still drinking lemonade. I'm drinking tea. Wow, this booth has a lot of stuff. Look at this fur. Vintage etch pe etch pals of fur coat. It's a nice fur. of mine mom used to have this and they would use it they would and use it to this day to wash up at night before they go to bed Did you see anything in here, Sissy? You didn't look really hard. You just kind of browsed to see what they have. Yeah, quick browse, I don't see anything either. Sexy little number. Sexy little red dress. I don't think it's vintage though. What's over here? Hmm. All right. Oh, I got stuck here. Let me get out. <laughs> I'm still looking for my vase to have yet to find the one that I just think is amazing. All oh, Santa's little elves. I love a vintage mirror. Okay, I see my sister at another jewelry booth. Yep, there she is. It's all about the jewelry for her. <laughs> Nothing, Sissy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, this booth is 30% off all items in booth, in the booth. I don't see anything. Even though <laughs> these pilots cap are interesting. <laughs> what do y'all think? It's certainly different. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. <laughs> Mommy, look! I got a nutcracker. Come on. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is a vintage shop that we just, part of the um, antique store that we came into. Interesting, unique items. Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this leather. French. French is going to be all the rage in 2024. Look at this leather. How much is this? Uh, vintage 80s, 90 jacket. How much is it? Uh, she's asking 95 for this. That's a no. It's nice, though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Paul Blanco, Neiman Marcus. You remember those dynasty sleeves? They're actually bad. <laughs> Were people just tinier back then? Or have we just gotten bigger now? Because everything just seems to be so tiny. Stunner, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this hat. This little hat. Oh, that's a beautiful pin. Look at that. I saw this lady in IG take some vintage tie, they're big like this, and turn them into a belt. I thought it was a brilliant <coughs> idea. Huh, I may consider doing it. How much is, yeah. No, she wants $8 for these ties. I could get ties at Goodwill for $2. So, if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go to Goodwill and find the ties there. That's the thing when you come to these specialty shops, there's a tremendous markup. Yeah, these, there's a so we're into a new shop, a new vintage shop. And of course, Sissy found all the jewelry. <laughs> oh, look at that vintage brush. What did you find, sis? I need to see it. It looks like sterling silver. Ouch. <laughs> and she just knocked herself out on the glass. She's looking so hard that she knocked her head on the glass. <laughs> Let's go over here and see what's in this. Stunning. Ooh, 20% off everything in this case. I have a piece similar to, to that one back there. Never worn it. 
You know, I have I have one similar to that, mm -hmm. oh, to this one, mm -hmm. but I've not worn it. I've had it for years. I mean, years and years and years, and I've never worn it. But I won't get rid of it. It's over here. Oh, uh, I like that. You see that earring back there? That's interesting. I think that's interesting, sissy. I want to see that. Do you see that earring back there? I'm going to look at that. I think it's interesting. Well, let's wrap up this video. Finally made it back home, y'all. What time is it? It's 1021. We left the house today at around 11, right, Sissy? Right. We left around 11 today, and we are just now getting back home at 1021 p.m. It was a long, long day. <laughs> if you hear the noise in the background, that's my, um, my tea kettle. I, I have to make a cup of tea <laughs> to kind of like woosa. <laughs> to end my day so I just wanted to come on here and end my day and ask a couple questions you saw the um, the video where I talked about the um, the Dior earrings did you think I got those earrings comment below let me know what you think well I will tell you what I did I went online and researched the earrings and found them on eBay for three. How much was it, Hunt Sissy? Three. Found a seller so that sold them for three hundred and fifty dollars. The exact same earring, and then we found another seller selling it for a hundred and one seventy-five. Sissy, yes, a hundred and seventy-five dollars. So. The vintage shop selling it for hundred and twenty dollars was actually a good deal because apparently the price range from one seventy five to three fifty. I guess depending on what part of the world you are. So, what's your thought? Did you think I got those earrings? I did. I got them. I couldn't leave them. They were absolutely beautiful. Here it is, stunning, absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let me put it on. I left the earrings. Didn't I, Sissy? We walked yeah. away. I left the earrings and I said, let's go get something to eat. And we left the antique store and we went and we got something to eat. And my mind was still on the earrings. After walking away, and we were gone for about, maybe about two hours. Yeah, yeah we, we were gone for about two hours. And I could not stop thinking about these vintage Dior earrings. So I got them. Yeah, I did. I got the earrings. <laughs> I'm curious to see how many people thought whether or not I would get them or if I would leave them. But I got them. And so Sissy and I had a great time in Del Delanaga in the antique stores. It was so interesting because we, we usually go to Delanaga a couple times a year and have such great fun visiting the antique stores and always find such, such great deals. 
you know, yesterday prices is not today's prices because we discovered that they there there was a tremendous markup. <laughs> the deals were not to be had this time. So we end up leaving the um, Delonica and leaving the antique stores and on our way back to Atlanta, there is an outlet. And my sister wanted to stop at the outlet. And um, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna go into the outlet because right, I was tired, we walked all day. And hey, by the way, my nine way shoes, they, they held up pretty well. I, I walked in them the whole day. And um, it was raining and I was tired. So I said, you know what, you go and get what you need. I'm just gonna sit here. So I reclined my seat back and was sitting down and then she came and she said to me, there's a sunglass hut there. I said, what? She said, yeah, they, they, this outlet have a sunglass hut. I said, did you see anything? She said, they have some cute stuff in there. I said, okay, I'll go look. Why did I do that? Y'all know what happened. So I got out the car and went in the sunglass hut. Y'all, I don't know what it is with me and shades, sunglasses, but I walked out with these. These Versace shades. Now in my defense, they had a big sale going on. They were 30% off. Aren't they stunning? Aren't they a statement? I just love them. So, I got the Versace shades. I was sitting in the car minding my own business. My sister came and got me at the car. There's a sunglass up there. I mean, she's a bad influence. I didn't want to go, but she came and pulled me out the car and I, it will not pull me. She told me there's a sunglass out, out and I willingly walked out the car, you know, anyhow. So that's what happened today. <laughs> but in all of it, I had a great time with my sister and my niece. We always have fun together. My niece is like, oh, when we hang out with Auntie Sharon, we have so much fun and we do, we have a great time. Love these earrings. Oh, tell me what you think of my Dior earrings. Love them. Oh, we always have a great time. So, thank you so much. If you've watched me to the end, I really, really appreciate you. And if you've watched to me to the end and not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. What are you waiting on? Subscribe. I would greatly appreciate your support. I want to thank my supporters. Thank you guys so, so very much. I can't wait to read your comments about me purchasing these Dior earring and my <laughs> new Versace sunglasses. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, this isn't bad in comparison to the old Sharon, but anyhow. Yeah, thank you so much. I, I can't wait to, to hear your comments. I want to thank you guys so very much for all your support and everything that, that you've given to me. <laughs> I hear something falling. Remember to thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, comment and share. I always leave with fun and reason to smile. And apart from spending an amazing day with my sister and my niece and just having so much fun together, we we just, we love spending time together. We really have a good time when we do. I also wanted to share my devotion um, um, today, that I, my devotion today, and it was Luke 7, Luke 7, 1 through 10. And Luke 7, 1 through 10, made me think of the song. You know, that song said, how deep is your love? <laughs> how deep is your love? So Luke 7 asks about our faith. How deep is our faith? Do we have the faith of the centurion? Now, the centurion had a, a um, one of his slaves or whatever you want to call him was sick. And he heard about Jesus and he told his servants to go and get Jesus to bring him so that he can heal his servant. And apparently this was one of his servants who he favored, who he apparently cared about dearly. And on the way there, he met Jesus on the way there. And he said to Jesus, 
you know, I have servants. If I, 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 if I tell someone do this, they do it. If I say someone go here, they go there. So he was trying to tell Jesus that he's a very powerful man. And he didn't, he, for whatever reason, he didn't believe that because of this, his station in life. He didn't believe that his home was good enough for, for Jesus to come into because of who he was or who he is. But this is what he said to Jesus. He said, if you say the words, if you say the words, my servant will be healed. Now here he is, a centurion. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. But his faith in Jesus was such that he didn't believe that Jesus needed to necessarily enter his house and touch the person who was sick. He said to Jesus, all you have to say is the word. And Jesus said, he had not seen such faith. Someone who had such faith, who just, who believed in his heart that all he had to do was say the word. So my question to you is, how deep is your faith? Not how deep is your love, but how deep is your faith? My faith is very deep. And that's my reason for smiling. You find your reason to smile. And until next time, this is Sharon saying, bye-bye. <laughs>